said, I'm Lee Newton. Yes, it is me, your resident Lee Newton. And today I'm bringing you SourceFed's first ever culture pop, where I give you the rundown of the latest pop culture news. And I know what you're gonna say, okay? Pop culture isn't news. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. News is defined as newly received or noteworthy information about recent or important events. So boom, tuck that between your legs and walk away. First on our pop docket, unless you haven't seen a computer or a magazine or a broken-hearted friend that didn't have a chance in the first place's Facebook update, the Green Lantern couple Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds tied the knot over the weekend. Thank God those two found each other, right? It just really gives hope for all those incredibly beautiful people everywhere. The couple tied the knot in a surprise ultra-private ceremony at Boone Hill Plantation in South Carolina. Cause nothing says love like a plantation. Among the guests were Florence of Florence and the Machine, who is saying the couple a lovely warble, and Bette Midler. Because why not? When you're famous, you have Bette Midler sing at your wedding, right? That's how I'll know if I'm famous or not. Next up, we have tattoos! Look, I'm of the firm belief that what you do with your body is up to you. Just know that if you get something permanently tattooed to your person and you're a public figure, prepare to get ridiculed for it. Let's start with Chris Brown, who recently displayed a Hire Me For Congress neck tattoo of what seemed to be a woman, but seemed to be more like a battered and bruised-faced woman. Of course, sparking rumors everywhere that it might actually be Rihanna. Call me crazy, but if you have had a history of beating women, when the last thing you want to put permanently on your body is anything that slightly resembles a beaten woman. A source close to Chris says that the tattoo is purely coincidental and that it's a completely random woman. Oh, excellent decision making skills, Breezy. But of course, what does misery love? Company! Cause the Tina to Chris's Ike story, Rihanna just days ago displayed a beautiful let me watch your children chest tattoo of the Egyptian goddess Isis in honor of her grandmother passing. Cause the way to let the people that you truly respect and love know it is by getting a huge tattoo to rest your breasts on. And last but certainly not least in this culture pop is Jessica Bet You Didn't Know She Had Extra Baby Weight Simpson. The Pretty Little Song Mama recently debuted her Weight Watchers spokeswoman success on the new Katie Couric daytime show after dropping 40 pounds from her post baby body. Okay, look, I, I'm just gonna sidestep a second, okay? I don't mean to have a leave Britney alone moment, but leave Jessica alone. That poor woman can't catch a friggin' break, okay? She's been plastered on magazines more times than a Kardashian, all because she gained a little bit more weight than the the average toddler sized movie star does during pregnancy. I repeat, during pregnancy. The time in a woman's life where it is your duty to gain weight to prepare yourself and your future child for the life that you're about to give it. But because she has a history of donning Daisy Dukes and rolling around in a bikini, we get to scrutinize her for not snapping back immediately. Screw the fact that you just became a first time mother and should be delighting in the glory and beauty that is life. When are we gonna get to see you in a bikini again? So to Miss Simpson, I say take your Weight Watchers spokeswoman money, eat those points plus brownies, and take your sweet, sweet time on your journey to sexual objectification. Boom! Wow! I feel better. I do. I really do. I feel better now that I know that you've had your fill of culture pop. So guys, what are your thoughts on today's pop culture stories? Tattoos, baby bods, true romance? Let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, click on that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click on the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com to see the five stories of the day and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton, culturing your pop. Popping your culture. I'll work on that. Thank you.